Well, I'll turn on the um, the light for a little while, like after this. But excuse me, I wanted to like show you what I'm doing, really. Um, oh shoot, one of the lights went out. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's uh, during peak electrical hour right now. I was like, screw that, man. I'm going to give them the, my money. <clears throat> and I over overwaked or I'm beyond my first sleep. And I'm like, okay, I'm probably just going to stay up for a little bit longer and then just go super long kind of thing and just deal with it. Um, yeah, it's just been a reflective day. I wanted to do... Um, yeah, a big chunk of this for sure. Um, I just, uh, yeah, it's just been so, uh, all day long. I was like, man, did I ever screw up with the Russians here? Um, you know, I was thinking about some of the books I have upstairs, like, um, I don't know how to lose a battle and, um, you know, big military blunder type stuff. And I was like, oh, it's anyways, it's been going on. Oh, shoot. I still didn't look up the definition I want to look up or the word I want to look up. I think it could be despondent. I'm not sure. Um, there's just been a word that I've been trying to f use or come up with like an emotion or a feeling. But it's not. <sighs> You know what I mean? It's not resigned. It's not what it's not it, it, sobering, but it's a bit more. I don't know. Uh, it's similar to the feeling I felt, I think, when I realized the central powers. Demoralization points wise, <laughs> that's the rate the rate this is going, maybe. Um, you know, they had they didn't have a hope in hell. I was like, well, are you going to still play the month, uh, a month and a half off? Of I was like, of course, I'm going to. But. I had to kind of reset or uh, put the frame back or something. Um, yeah, so that was been it. I've just been thinking about this for a long, long time today. Um, however, um, I should grab a seat. Maybe I'll go sit on the cat thing. Um, yeah, I don't... Yeah, I want to sit, but uh, I don't want... To, okay, I will also talk about fire with me. Um, I don't respect fire. And what I mean by that is I understand it burns, it kills people, it can kill me, burn my house down. Um, but what I mean by I don't respect it is I still leave it unaccompanied in this regard. And as far as I'm concerned, um, not a good idea, especially when I have like a forced air furnace. And you, you know what I mean? Like there's an air current. And like I said, I don't respect it. Um so I have to be aware of that. Um, like versus water or the ocean, I completely inherently seem to respect that. I I know, and um, you know, like if, yeah, I've told Zoe like you know, riptides are real, man. I've experienced them. They scare the f out of you. Um, like you realize very quickly who's boss. That's all I got to say. And it ain't you. Holy shit. And, um, yeah, I wouldn't want to go through one right now because, uh, you know, my, I'm sure my oxygen um, retention levels are uh, a lot different than they used to be when I had to deal with that stuff. Holy smokes. That was nuts. Um, yeah, let's get back to the day and reflection. So, yeah, I went out for lunch with uh, Rob, who, like I said, I kind of deal uh, intermittently he works in another section but he um reports to claude who i deal uh i don't deal with at all actually except socially um yeah he's uh, like in completely like okay put it this way in the ladder of you know our world or whatever um if he was an a i'm a Z. <laughs> And he's in a different section. Like we, we should not be connecting or relating or whatever. Um, I don't even know how the hell it happened, but he's like one of the first people I go and uh, see. And he's so um, accommodating, man. Um, like this guy's got like two PhDs, both in science. Like, you know, the guy's like on another planet. Um, here, I'll turn on the light. 
There we go. And um, so Rob, as you kind of know, I guess, <clears throat> excuse me, and Peter, who I you heard uh, the voice of a little while ago, um, he's from Belgium, and I was thinking about it today afterwards, and it's just, well, we've been interacting a bit more, like, off, like, you know, one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. Um, he used to be our translator, got um, sent out to some kind of freaking other whatever. But, uh, yeah, like I said, he's from Belgium, uh, lives out in the bush. Um, God, he's got... Put it this way, he's someone I just want to spend an extremely long time. Yeah, let's take a look at this horrible thing. Uh, I just want to spend a long time listening to his stories. This guy has got, yeah, he showed me a piece of art today, and I don't want to talk about it anymore because it's a bit, you know, personal, whatever, but um, it was beautiful. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I was thinking, you know what, I want to have him over maybe just for an afternoon or an evening at my house and just like sh show him around and we'll just chit chat. But I would like to go to his house and um, spend the night he's out in the country. And we'll talk about like what it's like to, you know, live out alone out in the bush. And um, he's got some dogs, but just, you know, he's found his retirement home, I guess is what I'm saying. And so I'll talk about that. So that'll be nice. Um, yeah, it was a good a good lunch. Uh, we went to a very special. I'll put the link in. Um, man, they make good pizza. I've not. I've been to this restaurant. Actually, used to live around it. Um, I've been going to this restaurant probably for about forty years, and I'm not kidding you. I've only ordered one of their food items in various sizes. I have no idea what anything else tastes like. Actually, I shared part of it uh, with Peter because he ordered a smaller version of his and was like, God, I'm starving. And I said, that's why I don't get the personal, man. You get the small. The personal just pisses you off. It gives you just enough to piss you off. Um, and we're talking pizza here. Uh, the Colonnade Pizza, a uh, Colonnade restaurant in uh, on Gilmore Street in Ottawa. Um I get the small vegetarian with uh, green olives. Oh, they put enough sweetness in the um, the sauce and the crust, and it gets offset with the green olives. It's, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and they have a blend of cheeses. Anyways, like, yowzers. Uh, yeah, very, very. Anyways, we uh, we had a good time. Um, yeah. What else? I don't know. I think I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I've just been thinking about this World War I game and... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank God, thank F and God, thank you. Um, you know what? Technically, there's nothing wrong with this game, Der Velkrieg. Um, it's me. Or it's us. Or it's... In other words, what I'm saying is there's nothing wrong with the mechanics. Like, you know, just the same as everybody, every other freaking game. Uh, you can, oh, this one's like needs a bit of tweaking and so on and so forth. But the game works. It's just when you decide to do the whole war at this level, it's going to take you a ridiculously long time. But that's not... It's problem. It's my problem. In other words, you know, it's due to the fact I've only got so many years left to live and, you know, whatever. Um, that's it. Like, there's nothing wrong with the game. Um, so what I'm trying to do is adapt the beauty of the game and try to milk its essence um, and still keep you know, World War One and all that stuff. So I don't, oh, I'm starting to understand why uh, I, you just have to take your time. Uh, oh, 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 I want to play this game so much more. You have no idea. Like I just feel uh, batteries recharged. 
if if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, it's so I just need to like Alberto has already done, so he's probably looking back going, for Christ's sakes, Chris, just get on with it. Um, you know, do the adaption proper. Um, yeah, you just need to do whatever, or you just suck it in and go, okay, you've got uh, two other options. You just focus on scenarios and realize, okay, it's going to be amazing that way, but it's going to be a lot of work, and it's going to be a lot of work the bigger the scenario gets and you start getting into the duration stuff, then it's going to be even be even more. Um, and I think with Ken, when I was looking at the Gorlitza Tarnov um, breakthrough game with him, <clears throat> it's teetering. Like that's massive. Um, you know, that's what it is. Um, but there's nothing wrong with the game. It's us or it's me, I should say. Um, yeah. That's it. Uh, what a wonderful system, and I just need to adapt it for me. And let's get back to this quickly, and then I'll shut the hell up because I need to, you know, focus on reality. So I'm going to um, attack this way. I gotta leave the bridge, the Bug River Bridge Hex uh, battle, the Battle of the Bug, the Battle of the Boog River uh, Bridge. Um, that's got to be left to last. No effing way I'm doing that. So I've Put all the stuff in here, and as you can see, the strength points. I haven't deducted the supply points, but yep, that's it. Um, <sighs> yep, this game. I'm gonna. It's gonna be hard to let go of these characters, man. I don't know what the hell to do at the end of this. It's. You know, I'll have to readjust my mind and try to figure out um, how to do the Great War, slim down, and then focused with, you know, um, following. I don't know. Um, an army through each like pick each front and like one army from both i don't know but i want to get i still want this beauty of the narrative it, system that's been blowing my mind beyond belief um but to do the whole thing there's no effing way i can you know i just don't have enough time and <laughs> what about 500 years or something for christ's sakes like good god so okay Hope you're having a great one, man.